Okay, so in today's video, I wanna talk about the ROI and costs of my solar panels, all 70, and the six Tesla power walls, and where I'm at today on recouping my money for that entire investment. Let's get into it. Okay, so the way that I wanna break this down is into a couple of different stages. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the first set of solar panels that I got back in 2010. That was the original 50 solar panels. In 2019, I added 20 more, and then in 2022 is when I got the six Tesla power walls. And then at the very end, I'm gonna break down where I'm at exactly after everything combined, all right? Okay, so what I've done here is I've created a very simple Excel spreadsheet to kind of help you visualize everything. Now, my power bill would range anywhere between $800 to $1,100 a month, depending on the time of the year and what uh, we had going on at the time. So what I did is I just got a roundabout average as far as what it was costing me each month. I was unable to go all the way back and figure out exactly what my power bill was. But this is a, a good conservative amount of what the, the monthly was, and then a good total amount for the entire year. So back in uh, 2010, when I installed these 50 panels, uh, you can see it was about $900 a month, the power bill. <clears throat> and over the course of 12 months, we're looking at about uh, $10,800. Now, the cost for the solar panels at this time was about $60,000 total. Also, they had an incentive at the time in which you could get a 30% tax credit, which came out to be uh, 18, around $18,000. So the total cost minus the 30% uh, incentive that was given through the tax credits, I think there was some state... Uh, um, incentives, but I can't really remember. But this is a good conservative amount about uh, where I'm at totally with this. So after my cost and after the uh, federal 30% incentive, it, it was about $42,000. And based on my power usage, it, my ROI was uh, around 3.8, let's just call it four years. So from 2010 to 2014 was obviously me getting my return on investment. So since 2015, it's been pretty much free power. Now in 2012, 2013 is when we got our first Tesla and we were able to eliminate uh, the gas bill. So that's, that's another video, another thing, if you want me to do that, but we were, uh, not only gaining the fact that we were getting free power, but now we were getting free gas with one of our cars. Okay. So the 50 panels after four years, essentially we had free power and, and free gas for our car at the time. So what I want to do now is I want to jump over to the ROI on the 20 panels that I got in 2019. Okay, here is an Excel spreadsheet that roughly goes over my ROI on the uh, 20 solar panels that I added back at the very beginning of 2019. Now, you'll notice the power bill, I kept it the same because no matter what, I would still have that power bill even if I didn't have solar. So... Um, that's the reason that you see that. Now, also throughout the years from 2010 to 2019, the price of power was going up from year to year. You know, we had, uh, we had added a few things in the house, a pool, uh, a Tesla, and so we needed more power. So it got to the point that it made sense to add 20 more panels to uh, get that power bill back to zero or negative each month. Because again, we live in California, most days throughout the year are sunny. Solar makes sense here. Okay, so um, again, $900 a month, 
10800 for the year in savings for power if I had no uh, solar whatsoever. The cost to get these installed were uh, just a little less than 18000 I rounded it up to 18000 The tax credit incentive was 4680 So my total installed after the tax credit uh, was $13,320. And again, going off of this very conservative power bill each month, if I was having to pay, uh, it would have taken me about 3.8 years, a little less than four years to pay off. And, and, and these 20 panels, as you can see, are different than the old 50 that I installed back in 2010 as they are the solid black versus the the black with the white lines. So the black ones, they were, they're LGs, they're more efficient. Uh, they're 320 watt panels versus the old 50, they're 210 watt Kyoceras. All right, so now we will jump over to the ROI on the Tesla Powerwalls. Okay, so here is a spreadsheet over the six Tesla Powerwalls that was installed earlier this year. <clears throat> they had some pretty incredible incentives that were going on here in California. And so I just kind of broke down the, uh, the current incentives right now. But again, I kept with the same $900 a month power bill to kind of help me uh, make sense of adding these and the power. And the, the reason why will make sense in the next spreadsheet where I do a total for everything. But again, uh, just to kind of break it down, you, we, I kept the power the same because no matter what, if I didn't have Tesla uh, power walls and I didn't have the solar panels, the power bill would be at a minimum $900 a month. That's at a, that's at a minimum though. Um, so the total cost to get these installed were uh, just a little under 80,000. I rounded it up to 80,000. There's a 30% tax credit. Uh, with home batteries, just like solar. So that was a, a 24,000 tax credit. So after the tax credit, I'm looking at 56,000 for the total uh, six Tesla power walls with an ROI based on the cost of power at this, which again is very conservative, is 5.1 years. And again, the, the Tesla power walls, as I've talked about in my other videos, this is, this is amazing because I can bank solar, I can bank power, and I can use it when it's more expensive versus when um, uh, I can take that solar and I can sell it back to the grid at a higher price and bank it when it's only 10 cents, but sell it at 35 cents or 40 cents or whatever's going on. So an incredible investment. Plus sometimes the power goes out here in California, and these guys, they just switch on automatically. The only way you really know that the power's gone out is you'll receive an alert in, in the app saying that, you know, you've only got two days left of power on your, on your power wall. So uh, again, the ROI, if, if I did have a power bill, this is what I would be looking at. Now I'll go a, over a, a total uh, cost and ROI of everything in this final spreadsheet and hopefully it kind of brings it together where all this made sense. Okay, so here is the final spreadsheet to just kind of bring everything together to make it make sense in what I've done here hopefully. So if I did have if I had no solar and I had no power walls, no matter what, every year I would have spent $10,800 in power for that year. That's just paying money to the power company and it's just gone. There's, there's no investment there. And that's why solar just made sense when you looked at the longevity of what it could really produce and give back to you. So if I go back to 2010 and I go all the way to 2021, we're in 2022 now. It's August, so it's almost a full year. So the savings are even bigger than what I'm showing here. But again, I'm being very conservative. So I've added up the total amount I would have paid in power between 2010 and 2021. It would have been uh, around $130,000. And this is conservative. And that would have been money that would have just been thrown away, essentially. It's just being paid in power. So 
If I come down below, I've got the electric rate plan. This is my current rate plan, just so you can see what power costs here in California right now. But if I come under that in the purple, you can see where I've, I've laid out each of the three uh, solar and power wall prices that I've paid. Uh, and this is again after the incentive. And once I add up all three of those, we come up to the simple ROI estimate in the top right. And you can see my total 70 solar panels and six Tesla power walls cost after incentives was $111,320. Had I paid a power bill for those years, instead of having solar and the Tesla power walls, I would have spent $129,600. I would have spent more, but we, we can just call it that around $130,000. So if I subtract the amount of money I paid after incentives for my solar and power walls from the amount I would have pretty much thrown away in power, currently at this moment, I am at least $18,280 to the good. Um, and that's going to continue to save me money. So Hopefully this, this shows you how beneficial this is for me <clears throat> and why it makes sense. So even though I added the six Tesla power walls this year, I pretty much saved that money over the course of the past 10 years to pay for them. And now instead of me having to continue to add solar panels, now I'm able to manipulate power instead of continually adding to uh, the infrastructure of, of solar panels. So hopefully this shows uh, the big picture and whether or not this makes sense for someone like you. If you happen to have any questions or, or anything I kind of uh, didn't explain, let me know below and I'll, I'll answer it the best I can. Okay, so that just kind of wraps up the ROI, the money I invested, the amount of time that it took me to get my money back, and where I stand today with my 70 solar panels and six Tesla power walls, even though I just added the six Tesla power walls earlier this year. Um, this just makes sense. It makes sense for me. And I think if you live in an area where you have as much sun as what we have here in California, in the long run, it may take you a few more years than what it has taken me, but you can really start to save money and really use power more efficiently than not having something like this set up. And obviously by me having this, I'm producing more power and manipulating power, it has allowed me to take on the hobby of cryptocurrency mining. And I'm able to, again, use that power and manipulate power so that I steal with everything I have going on, the normal power usage in the house, the pool, charging two Teslas, and my 1.4 gigahash crypto mining farm, my power bill is still zero. It's actually negative. So I can, uh, at some point after the Ethereum merge or whatever's going on, I can maybe start to scale the farm up a little bit to really take advantage of that extra power that I'm currently selling back to the grid. So hopefully uh, this answered some questions you may have about my setup. Again, if you have more questions, ask below and I'll do my best to get back to you. All right. Thank you.